Hi everyone, this is Julie from designsbyjuju.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download the files that you have purchased from my website and how to remember where you downloaded the files to because how often do we download files and have them wind up all over our computer and it drives us crazy going back trying to find them because we don't know where we put them. So hopefully I'm going to show you a somewhat easy way to manage all of your embroidery designs. You may already have your own system, but if you are new to embroidery, you are going to want to find some way to organize your files because you can accumulate quite a collection quite quickly. Um, so for the moment, I'm going to show you how to make a master folder. So I'm going to minimize my um, download screen. And here is your desktop. I recommend that you create a master folder where you're going to keep all of your embroidery designs, just one folder, everything goes in there. So that way, even if you don't organize it, you know that somewhere in that folder is where you put those designs. So we're going to right click with your mouse and select new folder. And I would name that something, whatever you want, but I'm going to name it my embroidery designs. And you create that folder and there it is on your desktop. If you double click, you will see you've got an empty folder here. What I do or tell people to do is to create a separate folder for each of the companies or designers that you like to purchase from. So here we're going to right click new folder and I'm going to name it designs by Juju. And then say we have another designer. Um, designer 2. I'm going to name it create new folders for different designers 3 and you would just keep doing this for all the different people that you buy from and as you purchase from somebody new you find something new that you like create a new folder for that company so then you'll have a list of the different designers that you purchase from that you purchase from on a regular basis so now, if you ever buy anything from me again, you're going to put it into Designs by Juju folder. Here, I'm going to just double click on my folder. You see there's nothing in it as of yet, but we're going to download that file into this folder, and I'm going to show you how. So let's go back to the download screen. You've got your file that you just purchased, Snow Buddies Applique VP3 format, and here's your download button. Simply left click on that, and um, in my browser, I get a box that pops up at the bottom here, and it says, do you want to open or save dbjj569-vp3.zip? I do not want to open it, and I don't want to just click save. I want to click this arrow, and I want to click save as. So how, whatever way your browser pops up, if it's a save as, make sure that when you, you click save as, and you're going to want to make sure that you go to your desktop, this is how we're going to make sure you know where you save your files to. Desktop, and if you scroll down, you're going to see that new folder you created, My Embroidery Designs. That's your master folder. Double click. Here's your list of designers. Oh, I just purchased this from Designs by Juju, so I'm going to double click. So I know that I am saving this file. Here's the file I'm saving, dbjj 569 pp 3 and it's a zipped folder. And I am saving it to my embroidery designs folder and in this subfolder is designs by Juju and then I just click save and that's all there is to it I have downloaded and saved that file so let's go make sure that it actually wound up there we are back back on my desktop and here's the my embroidery designs folder double click on it and let's go find out if it wound up in the designs by Juju and there it is and you see it's got like a little zipper on it. And you see here, the type is a compressed folder. We want to unzip that folder. And people get so upset not knowing how to unzip. But the thing is, unless your computer is really a dinosaur, you have that ability built right into your computer. It goes back to built in in uh, Windows XP, which is somewhat old. It's in XP, it's in Vista, it's in Windows 7. I don't have Windows 8, but I'm assuming it's in Windows 8. So I'm going to right click on my compressed file and the fourth thing down says extract all. And all you do is click extract all. 
files are automatically by default going to be extracted to the same folder where the zip file is so you don't need to do anything here click extract and there you go it's unzipped so the file with the zipper compressed you can see that this is the zipped folder and this is just a regular file folder if you double click this is zipped inside of it here are all of your files, your color charts, um, your thumbnail sheets, everything that you need is there in that folder. Now, if you're going to be transferring designs to a USB stick to put into your machine, I recommend at this point transferring them to your USB stick. Do not copy all of the instructions and color charts and all that. Simply hold your control key down and select the designs that you want to um, transfer and then you can right click copy and then you can go to the thumb drive that's into your computer and paste them that way but that is all there is to organizing your files if you want to get more fancy at a later time you can create another master folder that has categories and then um, let's say you decided um, that you want let's see embroidery design categories some people like to do this so let's say that you want to create a snowman folder and say you have one with flowers floral or say you want to put all of your Christmas designs in one folder. There you go. There you get the idea. So now you have all different categories. I still would keep your master folder so we purchase from different designers because sometimes you say, oh, I bought this set from Designs by Juju. I know I bought it from her. Um, where did I put it? Well, you can go to your Designs by Juju folder and it will be there. And this is snowmen, so say you want to put your snowman designs. Um, or say you just want to pick a few that you like, that you know you're going to use over and over again. You know, these are my three favorites. You would copy those, just right click and copy, and go to your embroidery design categories, and then you could paste them into your snowman. And then say, um, you might want to rename it. If you want to rename a file, you can right click and rename is down here. And snowman with a scarf, etc. You could put snowmen from all different designers in here because you know that you've got your master embroidery designs here with all of your files that you've purchased from the different designers. So you can do two but I would definitely keep this folder here with the different designers for your major purchases and to keep your zip files and have a main go-to place. I hope that this helped you in some way and that it's a start, especially if you're new to machine embroidery. Embroidering is so much fun and there's so many fun things that you can create and there's nothing more frustrating than simply trying to find the design that you just purchased. So. Hopefully that will alleviate any of that stress and you can get on to embroidering and send me anything that you create. I'd love to see it. Thanks for watching.